okay so now uh, okay last time I showed you how to create lag variable but this time uh, I shall show how to create first differenced or first differenced or second differenced variable that I shall be creating now right first difference and second difference variable okay suppose I choose the, the variable import right IMP referred to import right and my plan is to convert this variable to first difference right that is my plan that means first I create a folder suppose the name of the folder I give as a DIMP. DIMP means first difference of import variable, right? That is from here. Okay. So first difference of import. That means this import, uh, actually, from this import variable, I shall create another variable that is d import meaning that first difference of import okay as before i click on the mouse right hand side and as a result this thing uh, i can see then i'm saying again i click on the right right side of the mouse and i choose new object then I choose series then here I put D import D import means first difference of import suppose it is the name of the variable just I uh, I give the name so meaning that you can give any name suppose here I put D I M P then I click OK so you can see DIMP has been created right so I can show you by uh, by zoom it you can see I have three variable consumption GDP and import and my plan is to convert this import into first difference so because probably probably first difference of import is the stationary so I convert the import to first difference as a result as a result import has become stationary suppose right okay okay now okay so now I just do it okay now uh, I click on the DIMP you see there is nothing this is DIMP but there is no data right no data here so I have to create data here okay how to create data so I have to give the put the command I have to put the command right command as a result import will convert to first difference of import okay how to do that okay what I do just I show you sorry so DIMP means DIMP sorry DIMP so DIMP means first difference of import here I put only one D only one D means first difference of import so that is the command of e views that is the command of e views and when the cursor is here you just enter if you don't enter the variable will not be created okay now I check 
whether the data has been inserted or not I click on the DIMP right yes you can see the data has been created and normally when you do the first difference one step will go down one step will go down you can see it come here okay so the first difference of import variable has been created okay suppose uh, but suppose you want to create second difference of import second difference of the import so in that case you have to create another variable suppose the name of the variable is something like that d im d d d uh, d d i m p sorry d d i m p meaning that second difference of import because here you have taken 2d that means second difference of import so this variable uh, is the second difference of import but you have to create the folder first as before so you click on the right hand side of the mouse and do the new object and you choose the series and here the name of the object is DDIMP, right? You have chosen it, right? DDIMP. Then you press OK. So you can see DDIMP has been created. Okay, what does mean by DDIMP? Second difference of the import. Okay, how to convert IMP into the second difference you have to put the right command of eViews okay what is the command okay DD IMP means actually the first difference of the of the D I M P okay D I M P actually the first difference and when I write D and D I A I M P meaning that it will be second difference of the import variable meaning that I M P second difference of uh, import okay after cursor here you just press enter so the data has been inserted okay so from here I I can take you zoom so that you can see better so here IMP is the is the uh, that means IMP is the original variable and DIMP is the first difference of import and DDIMP variables at a time how to open at a time I have to select these three variable at a time so I press on the control of the key button then I press import DIMP and DDIMP so these three variables I want to open at a time so I press on the right hand side of the mouse then open as a group you can see all the variables okay I do it again I have done some mistake here so I do it again okay so first I choose IMP oh, sorry not IMP then DIMP 
then DDIMP I choose these three then I open as a group you can see here the first is import so so the first one is not the data is not stationary and the second one that is the first difference of import and DDIMP is the second difference of import variable and normally we convert the variable to first difference or second difference to make it stationary suppose the import is not stationary I convert the import to first difference suppose even the first difference is not stationary then I convert the variable into second difference and I guess second difference is the stationary data then we can use the this sec uh, this DDIMP for estimating our regression model because we always need the stationary stationary data normally we need the stationary data to estimate the regression line so here if the DDIMP is the stationary data then we should use this variable to estimate the regression uh, line not IMP why because IMP is not a stationary data in the IMP there is unit root okay how to get this first difference uh, what is the first difference actually how to get it it is something like this suppose current data that is 120 minus one period lag data that is 110 so 120 minus 110 you can get 10 right you can get 10 okay then uh, then I, I, I check here 1972 130 one period lag is 120 so the gap is how much 10 so that is the first difference so the so how to estimate the first difference data what is the guideline the guideline is current period minus one period lag you can get the first difference variable that means the gap between current and one period lag okay another example suppose 145 one period minus one period lag 123 so the gap is how much this gap is 22 right another one suppose 1979 is the current period 125 and one period lag meaning that last year 213 so the gap is how much this minus this is 88 right so this is the way uh, we can estimate the first difference what about second difference of the variable the same procedure suppose this is 1979 one period lag meaning that last year 90 so this minus this becomes how much this minus this actually become minus 178 right again this minus this become how much 15 minus 10 become 5 
So in this way, we can derive the first difference variable. We can create the first difference variable. And with this variable, we can also estimate the model. How? Suppose I go to quick, estimate model, and the, the dependent variable is import, then constant, then DIMP, that is the first difference of import, then DDIMP, that is the second difference of import. And from here, we can easily run the model. I am showing you zoom. Is it from here? Import DIMP, DDIMP. So that is our model from 1970 to 1980, all right? So I can run the model. I just press OK. So the model has been estimated, you can see from here. So it is the dependent, that is the first difference data, and it is the second difference data. Now, now you can check whether there is serial correlation or not. You can check so many things from here.